Kaki and welcome back to your irregular Latvian kitchen. In a second you'll be back in Scotland watching Anna and I making Debesmanna or heaven porridge. But stay tuned till the end where I'm gonna announce the big winners of our Maises Zupas Maiseums competition. See you later! In this video we will teach you how to make debes manna or sky manna which is another Latvian dessert. To make it you will need manna or semolina in English which is a type of byproduct of wheat. Three tablespoons of this. You will also need one glass of cranberries and three glasses of water. Now we are using the glasses that we have so remember these proportions. 3 to 1 water to cranberry and then they also say to use one glass of sugar but because we're on a diet we're gonna use less. I mean I guess it's up to you how sweet you like your desserts. And finally you will serve it with milk. It should end up looking like a nice floating island in a bowl of milk. Let's get started! I will need my assistant Hello, Anna to help us make this. Step 1. Take a big pot. Step two. Now we will add the three glasses of water into the pot. Okay, so while we wait for the water to boil, I could tell you that originally this dessert is said to have come from the Germans. It was usually reserved for very rich people, so only when the Soviet times came is when this dessert came into the mainstream culture of Latvians. Originally it was reserved for either German aristocrats, but apparently also the Russian aristocrats and wealthy people liked it too because manna was a very expensive product to get. And in the Soviet times, this dessert, but also manna biesputra, which means the porridge made from manna, was introduced in the menu of preschool children. And then some Latvians, when you read online the comments, they seem to have a trauma from eating this in kindergarten because you can make it taste very nice and very disgusting, apparently. Did you like manna porridge? No. Really? I used to love it. My grandma used to make it all the time when I used to visit her and with some strawberry jam on top, it was the deal. Hated it. The porridge, not what we're making now. Porridge was a very sticky mess of non-taste-like food. I can make it for you tomorrow morning. Um, <laughs> add the cranberries. And now let them boil. So the cranberries are about getting ready. Step number three, take a sieve and pour the mixture through the sieve to get rid of cranberry skins, which we will not use for this recipe. Make sure not to waste any of the juice. And make sure to use a Latvian wooden spoon. Step number four. So now you're left with a cranberry watery mixture and you pop it back on the stove and add sugar. When adding sugar, don't hesitate to taste your mixture instead of relying on the recipe because again, not everybody likes their debesmanna super sweet. Mix until the sugar is dissolved and then in a very thin stream, and this is important, you add manna or the semolina. And it's important to do it very slowly, carefully while mixing because if not you will get globs and nobody likes globs and blobs and sticky sticky stuff in your debes manna. That was not a very thin stream. No, it's okay. As long as you don't just pour a whole glass at the same time. When trying to decide how much semolina you should add, it's better to add less in the beginning than to add too much, but the goal is to create a thick, consistent, cream-like structure. If you've ever had sour cream, that is what we describe that the texture should be like. And I'd say let it boil like that for around 5 minutes, and then, once ready, take it off the stove and put it somewhere to cool off. And once it's approximately room temperature, you can start mixing, mixing, mixing. And you should keep doing it while the mixture triples in volume. What's the status on our manna? Now, it tastes amazing, but it 
is still very thick. Well, we should be using a hand mixer for this because it will be much quicker and much more efficient. But because we only have this, for the next half an hour, I'll be doing this. This is how the debesmanna should look after it's uh, beaten and ready to serve. Actually, this consistency is a little bit thicker than you would normally imagine a debesmanna. One of the reasons being that we don't have a hand mixer. But also, when I used to make it as a little child, I used to leave it approximately like this. Depending on how you prefer it, you can either stay here and mix it for another two hours, or you can serve it like this. And we will serve it like this. Then, once it's done, you serve it with cold milk. So you take a big spoonful out of the mixture, put it in a bowl and add milk on the sides to create a nice floaty island. And then, labu appetiti! Or, enjoy your meal! Enjoy your debesmanna! And since it is my birthday, we are also eating a... A portion? A portion of what we made. There is no candle because of its liquid state, but... Um, Fine, we will have a drink to your health. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to me. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Tastes like childhood. So, do you like this form of semolina? creation yes i do and i like the fact that it's not so sweet so if you're making it at home i really recommend go easy on the sugar almost tastes healthy <laughs> mm. almost they do say that semolina it can be a diet food they also say that it can be the worst thing for a diet so balance is key i guess but why not try this, uh, like, if you have some kind of guests coming? That's it for our Debesmana video. If you tried to make it, I hope you send us a video of how you got on and if this tutorial was useful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, maybe. Bye! Smeki and welcome to the end of the video where I announce the winners of the Mises Zupa Myceums competition. First of all, a huge obvious to everybody who submitted their answers. I was so happy to read all of your stories and reasons for wanting to have the Mises Zupas Myceums as I am really super happy in general that you have come to my channel and kind of created this community of Latvian roots everywhere. It is truly amazing and heartwarming to see that people who are either from Latvia and left the country early or their parents are from Latvia are actively trying to keep in contact with this part of themselves. I think that is like the best thing that our country could have ever asked for. People like that who won't let their Latvian part be forgotten. Thank you guys. Thank you, and I wish I could give the myceums to all of you. But we only had two packages and this time the lucky winners are Bia Paes from Brazil and Silvax Nopolius from Poland. Congratulations guys, please check your emails and Instagrams we've tried to contact you in order to arrange shipping. And don't worry if you didn't win, I'll dream up a new competition soon so that you can participate again! Okay, as always, thanks for the support and I'll see you soon maybe. Bye!